Hi, I'm Owen from Owen's Wildlife Adventures and this week I'm going to help the endangered bridal nail tail wallabies. Welcome to Flash Jack Ford and I'm going to show you around the camp. This is the kitchen area. Don't worry about the mess. Nobody's been here in a long time and the birds have made themselves a home. You've made a So Flash, there's a fridge, there's a microwave, there's a toaster, there's a kettle. This is the hot water system for the This is the nursery pen where all the mums can raise their young until they get tough enough to fight the cats, dogs and foxes and here it is. There's the girl side, this is the mix up side. After this they'll get put into a soft release pen and then for 10 days they'll be in there and then the gate will be open and they can go somewhere else to live. If a predator climbs up and they get to the bottom, to the top, they'll just drop down. And see this mesh down here goes into the ground so no animal can dig like a wombat. And over here is where the wallabies get their food and water. So, Owen, um, what are you doing at the moment? I'm getting the tadpoles and I'm going to put them into this here with the others. So, we don't kill the tadpoles? Yes. But it's got to keep putting water in it so they're still so wide. Mm -hmm. And there's loads in this one. This is a special treat for the bridal mantas. Sweet potato. Yep, and then that one. Okay, and 
then you put, you put them down on the ground and the other thing I like to do is put it, push them backwards and forwards like that so they're not rocky. So they're, you know, they're, and then you pull this up and what happens is they walk in and see there's a little metal plate in the back. You have to see that. They step on that metal plate and this set bar goes back and that door, that door there, that locks, that locks it in place so the door can't open. See, the door can't open. What is that on? 13. Trap number 13? Yep. Good job. bit of give in that, whereas if the bar's down and it jumps up, there's no give in it and it could hurt its neck. Okay, and then gradually, get one person to open it up, put the bag in, and then slowly pop the bag. You ready? Yep. Over the top, nice and calmly, and then put the bag around the little wallaby. Okay. And then roll the bag back over. Okay. And we've got the string to tie it up. Well, the one of the traps needs setting again. Point four. Three point four. Oh, let's do a little. Too small, we just have to put UK for unknown. Okay, so I'm the boy. I'm in a circle. Male. Circle, Number yet? Show me, have a look. Is it got, there's a number there. You want to pull the number out to me? Um, the. Starts with the, a nine. Zero, zero, six, zero, 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 two, six. They get used to the place because if we just come out and empty them out of the Hessian bag they might run for like a few kilometers yeah. away and they might be able to find their friends so so easily so just so they stay in the area a bit we put them in here so that one goes on to electric fence for Alan? It's for the cats, dogs and foxes to not get into the pen 
and eat the bridled nail towels. Great job. Gecko, it can go upside down. Look at all these baby spiders. No, they come out after the rain. And they go down and they burrow underground, and that sometimes they don't come out for a very, very long time. Sometimes even years. 